will be shocked by these facts about your fave animated characters. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. But while SpongeBob SquarePants is, in fact, very much a sponge that wears square pants, all is not as it seems in Bikini Bottom. When I created SpongeBob, I took a lot of creative license, Steven Hillenberg admitted in a 2005 video with French oceanographic explorer Jean-Michel Cousteau of dreaming up the beloved Nickelodeon series. A main character just staying in one place that looks like a blob isn't very exciting to watch. We wanna hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Still, he continued, I always think of SpongeBob as being a real sponge, he's just square. Also his charming underwater town is inspired by a very real atoll in the Pacific Ocean that the United States used to test nuclear weapons during the Cold War era. As for SpongeBob's crusty crab co-worker and grumpy next-door neighbor Squidward, well, despite what the name might suggest, he's not a squid. I like the octopus for this character because they have a large bulbous head, writer, producer, and marine science educator Hillenberg explained in the video. And Squidward thinks he's an intellectual, so of course he's going to have a large bulbous head. As for the fact that he only has six limbs, noted Hillenberg, it was really just simpler for animation to draw him with six legs instead of a mind blown? We get it. But if more nautical nonsense be something you wish, we're here to help. After learning that Hello Kitty isn't actually a cat, nor is Goofy really a dog, though he is a canine, we dove deep into the internet to uncover some more shocking facts about your favorite animated characters. We wanna hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. I like the octopus for this character because they have a large bulbous head, writer, producer, and marine science educator Hillenberg explained in the video. And Squidward thinks he's an intellectual, so of course he's going to have a large bulbous head. As for the fact that he only has six limbs, noted Hillenberg, it was really just simpler for animation to draw him with six legs instead of a mind blown? We get it. But if more nautical nonsense be something you wish, we're here to help. After learning that Hello Kitty isn't actually a cat, nor is Goofy really a dog, though he is a canine, we dove deep into the internet to uncover some more shocking facts about your favorite animated characters. Hello Kitty isn't a cat. Many fans were left perfectly confused after this revelation Hello Kitty is not a cat, Jill Cook an executive at Sanrio, the company behind the character explained to today July 18. She's actually a little girl born and raised in the suburbs of London. She has a mom and dad and a twin sister Mimi who's also her best friend. She enjoys baking cookies and making new friends. While the news may have surprised some, Cook wasn't the first to share this insight. As a matter of fact, Christine Ariano a professor of anthropology who penned the book Pink Globalization, Hello Kitty's trek across the Pacific had also previously confirmed that Hello Kitty isn't a feline Hello Kitty is not a cat, she told the Los Angeles Times in 2014. She's a cartoon character. She is a little girl. She is a friend. But she is not a cat. She's never depicted on all fours. She walks and sits like a two-legged creature. She does have a pet cat of her own, however, and it's called Charmy Kitty. Other fun facts about Hello Kitty. According to Sanrio, she is five apples tall, weighs three apples, was born on November 1st, making her a Scorpio, and dreams of being a pianist or poet. We want to hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Goofy isn't a dog. Gorsh. Did you know this fact? Bill Farmer, who's provided the voice of Goofy for decades, explained why the Disney character can talk while Mickey Mouse's pet Pluto can't. Goofy is not a dog, but he's a canine, the voice actor said on an August 2024 episode of Popcorn Podcast with Lee Livingstone and Tim Ifland. So it's kind of like a wolf is not a dog but it's a canine same thing. Goofus Canis, that's what he is. Or, he's a mog he's a man dog. 
However, Pluto, he added, is a regular dog a bloodhound as it turns out. We wanna hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Squidward isn't a squid. You'll want to get to the bikini bottom of this discovery. SpongeBob SquarePants creator Steven Hillenburg once revealed that Squidward Tentacles is actually an octopus, not a squid. This is Squidward the octopus, SpongeBob's grumpy next door neighbor. He shared in the 2005 case of the SpongeBob video resurfaced by BuzzFeed. I like the octopus for this character because they are generally an orange cat. Break out your handy dandy notebook and jot this one down. One of the things that nobody knows is that Blue was originally a cat, the show's co creator Angela Santomero said in the 2006 special Behind the Clues 10 years with Blue resurfaced by mental floss. First his name was Mr. Orange and then we're like, uh, maybe Mr. Blue. But according to the special, Nickelodeon was already working on a series about a cat leading animators to toss out the original idea and redesign Blue as a dog. We wanna hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Doug was almost named Brian. Now this really isn't funny, er, funny dot but as it turns out, Doug funny from the cartoon series Doug was almost named Brian. As for what led to the change. I just thought Brian was too fancy of a name, Doug creator Jim Jenkins told HuffPost TV in 2014, so, I geared it down, and started calling him Doug. If you think about what that sounds like, it sounds incredibly average, and that's what I was trying to do, express from that point of view. We want to hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Boo from Monsters Incorporated isn't her full name. This fact is so good it's scary. In Monsters Incorporated, an augmented reality book, the name of Boo the little girl who accidentally ends up in Monstropolis and befriends monsters Mike and Sully is revealed to be Mary Gibbs, according to BuzzFeed. And if the name sounds familiar, it's because it's the real-life moniker of the actress who provided the voice of Boo. Need more proof? In the movie, there's actually a scene where Boo is sorting through some of her drawings and fans can spot the name Mary scribbled at the top of one of the pieces of paper. We want to hear from you. Please comment under the video, but remember to keep it respectful. Minnie Mouse has a longer moniker. Speaking of names, while Mickey Mouse's girlfriend is often called Minnie Mouse, according to the BBC, it was revealed in 1942 that her full name is actually Minerva.